Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1206. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about the leading measure of wealth. This was another survey that was done that talks about what does it take to feel wealthy and different generations describe it differently. It's very interesting. So this comes to us from CNBC and it was written by Sharon Epperson. And it says many Americans feel wealthy but don't necessarily measure it in dollars and cents. Well-being, not money, has become the leading measure of wealth for most adults today according to the new Charles Schwab Modern Wealth Survey. It takes an average net worth of $2.2 million to be considered wealthy, the survey found, but that's the estimate respondents gave for other people. What about you? Are you rich? How much money does it take for you to consider yourself wealthy? Of the 1,000 adults surveyed, about 48% say they already feel wealthy, yet their average net worth is $560,000 about a quarter of what they think others need to be rich. Millennials are overwhelmingly more likely to say they feel wealthy, with 57% of those ages 26 to 41 saying they feel this way, compared with only about 40% of Gen Z, Gen X, and baby boomers. For millennials who say they feel wealthy, their average net worth is about $530,000. The definition of wealth is very personal, and it should be unique to one's experience, said certified financial planner Preston D. Cherry, founder and president of Concurrent Financial Planning in Green Bay, Wisconsin. He stresses the importance of having a financial plan based on your own wants and needs. If you do nothing, then nothing will happen, said Cherry, who is a member of CNBC's Financial Advisor Council. Americans' views about what it takes to be wealthy have changed since pre-pandemic times. When Schwab did its Modern Wealth Survey before the COVID pandemic in 2020, people said the average net worth it takes to be considered wealthy was $2.6 million. In 2021, that figure dropped to $1.9 million, then went up to $2.2 million in 2022, where it stayed this year. When asked to characterize what being wealthy means to them, respondents overall mentioned their well-being, 40%, more often than their money, 32%, and assets, 26%. In 2017, the top response to what wealth means was money, 27%. Whether they know it or not, well-being is much more important, said CFP and financial psychologist Brad Klontz a managing principal of Your Mental Wealth Advisors in Boulder, Colorado. One of the risks we run is thinking a certain amount of money is going to bring us happiness, bring us peace, improve our lives, improve our relationships, said Klontz, who is also a member of CNBC's Financial Advisor Council. Unfortunately, some people will sacrifice what matters most to them, ultimately in their goal to achieve an arbitrary wealth number. Yet, nearly two-thirds, or 62% of adults in the Schwab survey, say enjoying healthy relationships with their loved ones better describes what wealth means than having a lot of money, 38%. And 7 in 10 adults say wealth is about not having to stress over money, not having more of it. And Brad Clunes also said, one of the risks we run is thinking a certain amount of money is going to bring us happiness. End of article. Well, this survey was interesting to me because I like the idea of well-being being an important consideration. I think sometimes too much gets focused on a dollar number. And yes, of course, it takes certain amounts of money to be able to retire and pay our bills and live a certain way have the house you want or the car you want or send your kids to college. But ultimately, some of those are lifestyle choices. And there's no one right number that is the perfect number for everyone. 
So the fact that people are considering their well-being, I think is a healthy thing. I think that's a really positive thing. I think physical health, our mental health, our spiritual health, those are all important components of just being a successful human. And I think sometimes we can get too caught up in money and then we just feel like we're in a prison. But if you're actually doing things that you enjoy, living your life's purpose, doing things that feel more like fun than work, then that can add to your well-being. And you don't feel like you're really working a day in your life, as Warren Buffett said, if you really enjoy what you do, it doesn't ever feel like you're working. I think post-pandemic, many people are not taking their health for granted. And they've seen lots of people go through difficult health issues, maybe even lost some loved ones. So perhaps their perspective has changed. I know after losing my husband, my perspective drastically changed about life. It just gives you this wake up call that you don't have unlimited time, that our time here on this planet is short. And if there's something that you feel you need to be doing or a reason that you think you're here, then you better get after it. And that's what tugged at me to leave corporate and become an entrepreneur and make changes in my life. So when people are measuring their wealth in a broader sense than just about how many dollars are in the bank or a certain number in their retirement account, I think that's a positive thing. So well done. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are in my Wealth Mentoring Library on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips for your financial freedom. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.